Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Muggsy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Muggsy's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we use while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Muggsy has been fitted with his own personal training collar, and we will be sure to show you how to properly put that collar on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Now Muggsy is sitting very nicely on Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience training takes place. The first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing, and healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Muggsy take off doing that now and the command is Muggsy Heal. Muggsy has been trained to walk very nicely again on your left hand side, keeping pace with yourself whether it be a faster pace or a slower pace, he should remain at about your left heel position and not lagging behind on that leash or lunging ahead and trying to pull you on that leash. Also incorporated into the healing exercise is the automatic sit which you just saw occur. Anytime that you're out walking with Muggsy and you stop walking, he should sit nicely again right there at your left heel position and he should remain seated until you give him another command. Again, the automatic sit. Now the next command they're going to demonstrate is the stay command and the stay command is a hand and voice command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm an inch or so in front of Muggsy's muzzle and the one word command to stay. stay. You're then going to walk out to the end of the leash and Muggsy should remain seated in this position throughout the entire command. Now this is a great command to incorporate into your everyday activities for it will help build up his ability to stay for longer periods of time. Start at about a one time increment and slowly increase your time up to three minutes for this long sit stay. Now when Fred returns back to Muggsy, he walks all the way around and behind him as an added distraction. Muggsy does an awesome job remaining seated and they're going to run through their heel sit and stay for you again. Again, the command for the heel is Muggsy heel. The automatic sit occurs anytime that you stop walking. And the stay command is the open flat of your palm an inch or so in front of his muzzle and the one word command to stay and out to the end of the training leash. Now this time they're going to demonstrate the come command. You're going to call Muggsy in using his name in a happy tone. He should come in and sit nicely in front of you. You want to make sure that he sits every time. This is to help diminish the inappropriate behavior of him jumping up on guests and increase his appropriate behavior of sitting nicely while guests greet him. Fred healed him around the back of him, returning him back to his left hand side. And he should sit nicely again waiting for his next command and Fred leaves him in another sit stay to demonstrate that come command for you. Call him in using his name, make sure he sits around the back of you. He heals back to your left heel position, sits nicely. Great job. We use lots of positive reinforcement and praise to let the dogs know that they're doing a great job. Of course, Muggsy looks like a pro at this, but if he does need correction, we will show you how to correct him during your lesson. Now the next command they're going to demonstrate is the down from a heel position. Again, you're going to use the open flat of your left palm, but this time straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. Then again, give that stay command and walk out to the end of your leash. Same with the long down stay or the long sit stay, the down stay you want to start at about a one minute time increment and slowly increase up to three minutes. This is also a great command to incorporate into your everyday activities such as washing dishes, cooking laundry, folding, lawn, folding laundry, cooking dinner, washing dishes or watching TV to help build up that ability to stay for longer periods of time. Fred returned all the way back around, Muggsy remained laying, great job, and he heals him out of that and they're going to run through that down command again for you. Open flat of your palm, straight down towards the ground. One more command to down, out to the end of the leash, and this time they'll demonstrate that 
come command from the down position where Muxy gets up and okay. comes in. Good job. Just around the back. Good job. Stay. For the last command, Fred leaves Muggsy in a sit stay and walks out to the end of the leash. From the end of the leash, Fred will demonstrate the down from a distance by using his right hand to give the down command from the end of the leash. Muggsy should drop down right there. Great job. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Muggsy has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Muggsy and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.